I hope you are ready to lose today. Brazil is the best in the world, and you will not be able to even score on us even once. You think you are so smart, but keep in mind that some of the best soccer players in the world also come from Argentina. What makes you so confident that you are going to win? We have the power of teamwork on our side, but we also have the knowledge of statistics on our side. We have modeled how this game is going to turn out and it is in our favor. You think you are so smart. Why do you say that? Explain yourself. Although I shouldn't be explaining this to you, but I know that even if I do, you won't be able to do anything about it. What are you saying? Let me finish. Let us suppose that this game will be decided by one point and that the first team who gets to the other team's side of the soccer field will be the winner. We have that the length of the soccer field is 100 yards. So, you were saying that there are basically two absorbing barriers, one at each end of the soccer field, correct? You are smarter than you look. Now we can also say that our team, Brazil, has a probability P of advancing the soccer ball by five yards towards the end of the soccer field, and probability Q equals one minus P of having the ball being stolen and forced back five yards. Finally, where the ball will be on the field is only dependent on its current position. You are making this sound like a stat 333 problem. What was this called? Gambler's Ruin? Yes it is. Okay maybe explaining this to you might not have been the best thing to do, but I don't think you know how to utilize the information. Continue with your explanation genius. Assuming that the game begins in the middle of the field. And assuming that Brazil has a 55% chance of advancing the soccer ball, we can calculate that Brazil has an 88.15% chance of winning. How did you get that number? Well, we use this formula with I equal to 10, K equal to 20, and P equal to 55%. Look at this wonderful picture of the formula. That is impressive. So basically, you were saying that you have an 88% chance of advancing the ball to our net before we are able to advance it to yours and score. Good interpretation. If Team Brazil only had a 50% chance of advancing the soccer ball by one unit, intuitively we would expect that the probability of winning is also equal to 50%. You get this by dividing I equals 10 by K equals 20. How about if the football field were infinitely long? Then the probability of you scoring at zero, is it not, wrong? You would think that is the case, but it is not. First, let us assume that the players on our team have an infinite amount of stamina. And I can make this assumption because of your ridiculous infinitely long football field question. Again, if Brazil has a 55% chance of advancing the soccer ball, then taking K to infinity gives us a probability of 86.56% of reaching the end of your side of the field. That is enough talking. We will let our skills speak for themselves, because clearly you are better off in Diana's stat 333 class than here. 